So you don't have time to consume an entire podcast. That's okay. Enjoy the highlights on TRS Clips. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell icon. All the softwares we use on our phone right now, Instagram, Twitter, whatever, used. Uh, I mean, are built using Web two protocols, which basically means coding languages of this kind, of kind A, of type A. Okay, say your Java, C plus plus, etc. Now this is a whole new world where coders have to learn about blockchain technology and use blockchain protocols, which you can understand to be sort of new age coding languages to be able to build Web three products. Is the, is it correct till this point? So uh, slight difference, Ranveer. Uh, when you talk about coding languages, mm. you use the same coding languages in Web three point two also. So you use okay. JavaScript. You use a lot of that stuff. Mm. The fundamental difference comes in. on how do you store and process the data because you don't have a you know big deal in terms of using the front end language the challenge happens when you store the data and process the data in a centralized versus a decentralized fashion oh, which is there. again i got to dial back a little bit and again i'm dialing back because front end uh, coding and back end coding is things that i learned only last year when yeah. i was working on level yeah. so for mm-hmm. amateurs front end is basically what you see on your phone uh, your ui You know, like how does a Facebook user work? interface? Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm learning from you, Ranveer. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Your uh, user interface, where basically how does a button look? How does a button feel? How many buttons are where? The design of the app. Um, your back end is what is the actual company seeing? It kind of is like a front end and back end of a business. So in a Kinara dukan, your front end is you see the eggs, you see the masalas, whatever you see the Lay's packets, etc. And the back end is all the stuff that the shopkeeper knows, the accounting books, uh, where he stores the eggs before he keeps them, or where he stores the Lay's before he keeps it out. So let's double click on both Web 2.0 and Web 3.0 and the fundamental difference between that, right? You can use a lot of similar technology that you use in Web 2.0 into 3 uh, Web 3.0 run with that's not a problem. The difference lies on how do you store and how do you process that data. Today when you go to facebook.com for the first time, you create an email account or you create an account using your email, you're creating that particular account on the servers in the database of Facebook. Hmm. And then you use that data uh to go ahead and log in the next time you come in and once you're inside that's the unique identifier of yours which is your email which can be a profile id also everything that you do is tracked and stored within facebook's databases what happens in web 3.0 as a good example is you will be able to go ahead and create and store that data in a particular social media platform but it won't be stored with the consensus of or with the authority of the owner of the social media in other words it will be stored in a server in an encrypted fashion where whoever is running that website will not have a direct access to the unencrypted form of that data hmm. and then even when you process the data because today web 3.0 provides you that uh, you know that flexibility where you can process at multiple nodes So you don't have to worry about the fact that whatever data you are giving is being processed at the same server which means the data correlation of getting to know the patterns of what you're doing what you're clicking on what you're seeing what you're texting etc cetera, etc cetera, all of that correlation while it's being processed you don't have to you know worry about the fact that that is all adding up every time you type something and because of that tracking you and we spoke about that the fundamental quality of being a human being is the fact that you can think independently without worrying that somebody has eyes on you and watching you constantly mm. because that actually takes away your first principle ability of being human because you st- suddenly start f- feeling like oh my god am i being watched and then the way you think changes so the point i'm making is that's web 3.0 for you where the data will become decentralized and it will be stored at not one but multiple places by the way but because it's stored in multiple places it'll be encrypted and most of the platforms that i have seen will actually go ahead and even the bosses of the platforms so don't take me wrong they will still be you know a small team of 10 20 30 people who will run the platform and can be even bigger but they will not have an access to your data and you will be able to still operate similar functionalities if not all uh in in such a platform 